guys, it's me. Good morning. How are all of you? Welcome back to the vlog. Do you, today the sales actually start, so I thought, well, let's go to town. So I just applied my base. I used the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation and I put a few drops of Max Luster Drops. I love this stuff. It makes everything so much better, like whatever foundation, just to put a few drops of this and it makes you look like you just came out of the sun, you know what I mean? Like you're nice and tanned and bronze, but actually you're not. So yes, I thought of just switching on the camera and talking to you guys. So today, for my eyes, I decided to go back to an old, old love. I haven't used this palette in so long, but this is actually one of my favorite, favorite palettes and it is the Urban Decay Naked 2. I don't have the Naked 3 because it really doesn't inspire me that much, but um, yeah, forgive my hair, it's just in a top knot. I'll put it down later <laughs> and uh, yeah. My hair is a big, you know, thing in, in all my vlogs, if you haven't noticed. Anyway, the Naked 2 is amazing. I really, really love it. I like the fact that the eyeshadow is all cool toned. And I'm... I'm more geared towards cool toned, I think. And yeah, so let's just get started. And when it comes to the Naked 2, there's... I always use the same eyeshadow combo, which is... Tease in the crease. I think it's the only matte color, dark matte color in the palette. And then for the lid, I go with Verve on the inner half and on the outer half YDK. Trust me, the final effect is beautiful. Right, so that's done. And now I want to add a little bit more drama on the outer V, so I'm going to add mustard in the outer corner. And now we need eyeliner, mascara. Hi guys, so this is the makeup look we are wearing today. I know it might seem a bit too much for somebody for the daytime, but for me, if you know me, you know that this is right up my alley. Very smoky, very dramatic. What? Too dramatic for my standards. Anyway, yeah, I for totally forgot about this Dior lipstick I'm wearing today. I write the name somewhere here. It's, re it's a really nice warm pink for every day. Very, uh, very nice. And now, let's go. Hi guys, so I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day. I decided to wear my full fur coat as you can see. It's nice and snug. It's really, really super snug. Wearing my usual bag, my Topshop jeans. I, I, I decided to go for all black because I thought that the jacket was already a bit too much. And my boots, the usual. And that's that. We are at the beach right now. We are enjoying the sun. And now we're going to lunch. And I'll see. How are all of you? Welcome back to the vlog. So I was just getting ready to go out. Just like yesterday, I used my Naked 2 palette, which I really, really love. So yeah, I was actually thinking of switching out my bag today because I've been using my Mini Parsley so, so much recently that it's time for a change. And I thought of showing you guys the things that I actually carried in the bag. So yes, let's turn this camera around because I cannot stand this angle. So yeah, here's the Mini Parsley. Um, she's a really, really pretty little bag. Um, ideal for on the go. If you're thinking of a mini bag, definitely take this bag into, into consideration. I really enjoyed her throughout this holiday season. It's definitely a very like grab and go, easy breezy kind of bag. Love it. Just chuck my things inside and off I went. Um, I was yet to attach some sort of a bag charm on it. And yeah, so that's that. Obviously, it's a mini bag, so it's not that you can carry that much in it. Consider that I was carrying this camera, the camera that I'm filming on, in my bag the whole time. So consider that half the bag was occupied by the camera, and in the other half, this is what I would put in it. The first thing is obviously my Louis Vuitton multicolor clay. 
Um, I have to say, this is my go-to item when I switch bags from my big bags to my small bags. I mean, I only use this when I use my small bags to carry cash, coins, cards, my ID, and all that good stuff. It is such a key item. Um, crucial, in my opinion. I uh, love it. One of my all-time faves. Then another item that I immediately put in my bag is my iPhone. This is the iPhone 6. And this is my background. Everything will be okay. Then I think in all my what's in my bags, there's always a packet of tissues. And I have a lipstick. This is my Maybelline and it is the number... Can we see? So yeah, this is all the junk I fit in my mini partially. Not a lot. Uh, but as I said, you have to consider that I am carrying my camera in the bag, so it does occupy quite a lot of space. It occupies half the space, so if it wasn't for my camera, I could fit a bit more. But, I mean, besides that, I mean, besides my clay, my phone, a lipstick, and my tissues, and maybe like a mirror, that's what's missing in here, but that's all I need. I don't really need anything else. <laughs> What's up? I'm feeling really embarrassed right now, but hey, need you this outfit of the day because it's the only shop that has a mirror. So this is my outfit. I changed into my Louis Vuitton Speedy 25. It's an oldie but a goodie, guys. It's an old love. Anyway, this is what I'm wearing today. As in terms of jacket, I opted for my um, Woolwich in this military green, which I really love. It keeps me so warm, and uh, yeah, it's cold. And I like the combo green with jeans and my Timberland boots, which are my boots of choice for today. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yep, there we go. Here are the details. I'll see you later, guys. Yep, I have only one New Year's resolution for 2015. I think it's kind of big enough, you can read it for yourself. Will I succeed? Will it be a total fail? I have no idea. You see, the thing is, it's not that I want to like, not shop or not buy anything. I'm not going to fool myself and say that I will, you know, be a good girl and not buy anything. I need to be true to myself. I like spending, I like buying stuff because it makes me happy, but I need to, like, be less impulsive about my shopping. That's that's the problem. I like things and I buy them. I don't even, I don't do a lot of thinking. That's what I should do. I should start thinking more about the things I buy. Maybe plan my important purchases, and yeah, do do, do smart shopping. That's the thing. Not impulsive shopping. Smart shopping. Anyway, I recently started a diary. Uh, yeah, as a. 2015 thing. We'll see how it comes through. I'm sure I'll, I'll stop in like a matter of days. Anyway, uh, I just started writing and so far I'm finding it kind of therapeutic. I'm liking it. And I wanted to show you guys this cute thing. I wanted to share with you guys these earrings that I bought yesterday at the market. It's actually a Christmas market, but come to think about it, there's nothing Christmassy in that market. It's just a bunch of vendors that sell their own things, and there was this stall that was sending, that was selling um, these um, handmade crown jewelry, inspired to um, candy and biscuits and stuff like that. It was so cute. They had cupcakes and everything. So I decided to buy these stud earrings with donuts, and they are so cute. I actually wore them today. I took a couple of pictures, but not sure if you could, if you were able to see the earrings. But they are literally the cutest thing ever. So cute and adorable. I love them because they really stand out, and they look nice when you want to wear like studs, but you want something fun. This is definitely something I'm gonna wear. And yeah, I'm sure you can find a similar vendor on Etsy or stuff like that because it's handmade and I've seen different sellers sell these things, you know, inspired by candy and biscuits and stuff like that. So yeah, there's that. 
we are having some major bag swapping action right now because I want to um, transfer everything in my Louis Vuitton Demier Speedy 35 love hello kitty says hello yes I'm kind of crazy so yes I need to transfer everything and I have a little bit of something in my Speedy 25 I have the majority of things in my Chanel GST so I need to you know compact put everything together and put everything in here the main reason why I want to swap and put everything in my Louis Vuitton Speedy 35 is because I want to carry this book that I intend to read during my lunch break I was actually hoping to finish this during my Christmas holiday but did not uh, I still got a long way to go and I can't really fit it in my GST because it's already kind of full so I thought you know what I've been wearing I've been using my GST for a long time now and I think it's time for a swap so yes it's Louis Vuitton time and let's let's do this <laughs> You know you're Italian when you have a piece of parmigiano in your bag. there we have it my speedy 35 is full it's like heavy as a luggage <laughs> it's, it's really really full like all my junk is in here can you see yes you can I mean it's really really heavy because I have everything including the books so yes it's gonna be fun times carrying it for a while but anyway I'm happy because I like swapping my bags often. Oh, and I've been wearing, as I said, my Chanel for a long, long time now. So it was time to take out the other girls. And yeah, I'll see you later. Hi guys, it's me. How are all of you? Long time no see. So I wanted to show you guys my outfit. Very colorful, right? All black, yeah. I've been loving the all black, you all know that. Anyway, today we have a very, very important pop of color. I hope you can see yeah I got myself I'm, I, I hope I filmed a haul video before uploading this video anyway I got myself the Louis Vuitton Logomania scarf in red ruby red ruby red loving it and I'm also wearing Max Ruby Woo lipstick I just noticed the coincidence ah! anyway that's that the usual Muba leather jacket and today I'm wearing my Vliga and Van Damme clutch love and let me show you the shoes I'm wearing my ash boots with the studs and yeah I will see you welcome back to the vlog we came to the mall we just had lunch pizza as you saw was delicious by the way and now we are in Zara my sister is currently trying on some shoes these ones over here I hope you can see these shoes remind me so much of style Susie 
she always wears these kind of shoes. Anyway, um, yeah, I just want to check in with you guys and say hello. Um, not sure if I'm gonna buy anything today. I've been so good recently. I haven't been buying anything except for that little splurge at Louis Vuitton. Oh, I've been. This is my first day wearing this scarf, and I've been loving it so much. It's so warm. I, I was so surprised at how soft this scarf actually is because I thought it was going to be, you know, huge and chunky maybe. Um, I mean, not stiff, but just a little bit. Instead, it's super soft and it's not even that big and chunky, so very comfortable and it reminds me so much of a scene of Sex in the City in which Carrie was wearing this big, uh, huge, chunky red scarf and a black leather jacket, so I'm feeling very Carrie Bradshaw today. So yeah, I'm actually looking for a faux fur vest. Yes, that's something I really want to get. We will see. And people are taking me for crazy. So, yeah, I will see. Oh, and we're going to the movies lately. I mean, afterwards. We're going to see a movie called, I'm not sure what the title in um, English is. In Italian, it's La Teoria del Tutto. I think in English it's the theory of everything. I think so, I'm not sure. I'm wearing Charlotte Tilbury's um, rock chic eyeshadow palette. Loving it. So yeah, how are the shoes? No? <laughs> Hi guys, so we just had coffee. Yeah, I did buy the coffee. And my sister and I were just commenting on coffee. Like this bar, but it would be nice if they would put the music <laughs> just a little bit lower. <laughs> they call it Cafe de Dalpiste. It's more like a disco. Hi guys, it's me. How are all of you? I'm back home. As you can see, the makeup's off and skin is breathing. Um, I'm back home, the movie was really, really good and I definitely recommend it to everybody. It was so, so touching and you know when you're watching a film and off and on you check your mobile, you check your, your, your watch to see what time is it or how much of, how, when the movie's gonna finish? Well, this time time just flew by. My sister and I enjoyed it so much. When the movie finished, we'd like, oh my God, it's, it's already over. We were so into the movie. It was really, really good. So yes, um, I'm back home as you, as you can obviously see. I'm back home, I'm watching some YouTube videos. I'm watching the one by Time the Infamous. It's a makeup tutorial on Lady Gaga's VMA's look. She's so good. She puts a hell of a lot of makeup, but she's really, really good. And I decided to skip dinner because I, I was really, really full. I don't know about you guys, but when I go to the movies, I have to have a snack. I'm one of those people that just has to eat something or drink something while I'm watching a movie in the cinema. I mean, not necessarily at home. But when I'm at the movies, I just like to, you know, I feel it's part of the whole thing. So I decided to skip dinner and have some tea. This is my favorite tea mug. Not favorite, this is mine, and this is what I always use. Keep calm and carry on shopping. Cheers. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this vlog as usual. This is my life. Nothing, nothing super exciting, nothing spectacular. I always go to the same places because this is where I live. I live in a very small town. And that's that. So yeah, I will see you next time. Bye bye guys. Oh, and by the way, do you like my makeup? It's Sunday, and usually Sunday is a non-makeup day. But I really wanted to film this video, and I thought I need to put on makeup. And I kind of like the look that came out. I love this lipstick so much. Where is it? Oh, okay. It's the one by Maybelline. Yeah, there you can see. Love it! And I use the MAC Cool palette today.